Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be focused on my new planner items you see here in front of you. So this is going to be a haul slash flip through. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So I'm not even going to tell you how long I've had these and they've been sitting there and I haven't opened them because it's crazy. But I definitely wanted to do an unboxing here for you all and just chat a little bit about what I plan to do with it. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here before, thank you for stopping back in and always supporting. I do appreciate that. Also, um, if you've, you know, taken a look through my videos, you'll see that I did have a couple of, couple of planner videos that I did, and those were, you know, strictly planning. And although I do like to do that and I do maintain my planner, I don't film it anymore because I'm more so interested in... I'm more so, any, if you hear um, anything in the background, those are my kiddos. So, this is the happy memory keeping, happy memory keeping planner right here. Yeah. And. Let me get a thing to set. And the reason why I decided to go with this one is because I'm more interested in like a scrapbooking type of thing. Yeah. And so, this I felt like combined the two and. Yeah, so that's why I picked this one. But as I was saying, I had uh, previously done planner videos. I don't film them anymore. Not to say that I never will, but um, I like planning, but it just, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So when I saw this on Joanne's website, and it was a killer deal, like 60% off or something like that, um, I just had to try it. So... I went out, actually my husband went out and got it for me. I love the floral motif, floral prints are my favorite. And so I wanted to get this one and give more the angle of scrapbooking a try. So here we have two washi tapes. Yeah. They look to uh, be like green, kind of like grassy floral print and then a stripe. So you have those right there. I'm just gonna put everything to the side as I show it to you. These are the stickers that were included. So you have like home sweet home hearts. You can see all of that. Very cute. And then, um, what should I show you? I'll just show you the sticker books that I got. These books um, were purchased separately. But as I said, they had a, a, an awesome deal going on. So I had him grab me these as well. This one is the Happy Memory Keeping Dates and Holidays. And I felt like, you know, obviously coming from the scrapbooking standpoint, this would obviously come into play very well so you know dates holidays summer fun you know things of that nature so we have that this is the how many come in here um do, 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 do. i don't know why this is this oh 2601 pieces so that's a nice chunk and then this one is the Choose Happy mini sticker sheets. And this has 749 pieces in it. So there's that one. And this one has, the reason I really picked this one is because of like this. Like that, isn't that so cute? The floral prints they have in there, the flowers, you know, all of those good things. So that's why I picked this. I just thought that would be, um, you know, a cute addition to my little scrapbooking theme here. And then the last one, and this is my favorite. It's a little story behind this one. This one actually sold out and it was saying that it was in stock online, but every time I called the store, she said, no, we don't have it, we don't have it. So I didn't want to purchase it online and it'd be like a glitch or something then going and they didn't have it. So anyhow, I didn't get it. Then it was on sale for super cheap, like over 50% off at Michael's and but only in store and when i went they didn't have it flash forward a couple weeks later i was in joanne's and lo and behold they had it on the shelf so i had to grab it it wasn't as cheap as when i'd originally seen it but i was still happy to have it because i really wanted this one and i think it's just you know very pretty prints patterns again we have like the colorful and then i believe there's like the floral motif in here too 
that is just super pretty i really like this especially like the purple flowers because purple is my favorite color so yeah that's what this one is really happy to have it get the idea of what's in there this is my first time doing a flip through let me know in the comments like how specific like how do you normally do the flip throughs or how they look when you watch them like do you go page by page literally i can't imagine because there's so many in here but let me know what you think so yeah that's that one like i said this one is my favorite i can't wait to use it um i watched a couple videos to see of other people using this planner and I cannot think of her name. If I remember, I'll place it down front or down below. But she said to that she prints her pictures out um, as a collage. So like four pictures on one four by six uh, photo. And so she goes on something like, you know, photo grid or something like that. And, you know, you make a, a, a grid of four with the pictures and she gets those printed that way. And then she says cut it. She cuts each of the pictures out and it's the perfect size for in here. So I am going to keep that in mind since I can't put like a standard size photo in here. It'll take up the whole page. So here we go on the first page. It says, hello, this is happy memory keeping book. Plan a happy life. It has, has succulents in here, which I'm excited about. I didn't know that was in there. I love succulents. I have plenty, plenty plant babies that i'm acquiring right now i actually excuse my hands i was just propagating some plants i do have a separate channel that i've started completely devoted to my plants i will link that um somewhere on the screen so you can see it feel free to head over there and check that out i'm having a lot of fun with that so that's a nice surprise that there are succulents inside and this is my first time seeing it as well flipping through with you all because like i said it's just been sitting there and i haven't opened it I like that the rings are in this black color. I think that's really cute. There's beauty and simplicity. Very nice. So here it looks like we just have, you know, typical planning blocks. I like how um, in here, if you can see that, they have, they carry the floral print in through there too. So I think that's really cute. Okay. Flip over to another section excuse my phone also they changed the print in here that's really cute nice attention to detail on that they change up the colors choose happy i really like that favorite picture so i can already see this is obviously it's a planner but it's a little more planner heavy than i expected so i'm gonna have to do you know some I don't know, mixing and matching, tweaking it around a little bit to get that true scrapbook feel that I want. But that's okay. Oh, I like this here. Y'all can see that. Monthly milestones. Um, this month in one word. Memorable quote. Oh, yeah, I really like that. That's going to be super cool. Because I definitely want to base this around my family. My husband and I, we have two young kids. Four years old and 18 months. So... Um, yeah, we just building a lot of memories and want stuff for them to look back on so they can see the things that we did together. So I really like this. I'm excited about this. This one is very beautiful right here. Lift that up for you. It has the succulents in there, some other foliage. Learn from yesterday, live for today. Awesome. Once again, we have a different floral there around that border. I don't know the exact planner terms. Is there like... Is there a term for this section of the paper or these dividers? Like, is there a specific name? I think there is, but I don't know. So this is pretty much the same. Every moment matters. I love these little cute sayings right here. You see that? I love these little cute sayings in the bottom of the, of the page. That's awesome. So I'm just going to skip to each section. Again, at the end of each month, milestones. So, um, monthly milestones, memorable quote, what we celebrated. This is really cool. Well, I think this is by far. I want to probably keep saying that because I just really love floral print so much. But this is gorgeous. Look at that. You can even see how it glistens in the light. That is so pretty. What are these dividers called? Let me know down below. Same setup as the previous. Enjoy the little things is the quote at the bottom of this one. Okay, and then we're to our next section. We have some more succulents here. Very cool. 
do what you love. Definitely something everyone should live by. Let's see, keep turning. I can see that these pages slip out. My other planner that I have is not a big happy planner. It was like a $7.99 planner that I got from Aldi. I really do like it. Um, check out those videos. They'll be linked below. But yeah, that one you just had to flip back and forth. So I like that these pages come out, especially for the scrapbooking style that I'm going to be doing. This one is beautiful. Flowers, Flowers. feed the soul. Mommy's yep, mommy's favorite. Yes, that's very mommy. cute. Yes? When is, when, are you going to be in Father's Day right now? No, it's not Father's Day yet. Go play so mommy can finish, okay? But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in the Father's Day. I don't know. Go finish playing, okay? I'm when almost done. You're going to be in Go the, finish playing, please. I'm almost done. In the Father's Day, when you, when you say you want fla flowers as your gift for Father's Day, I was sure gonna give flowers for you. You're good for your father. Oh, I see what you mean. I get gifts on Mother's Day. We get Daddy something on Father's Day, but I did get flowers on on Mother's Day. Thank you. Okay, this is the next section. It says there are so many beautiful I'm reasons super smart to be happy. With you, I know what I know what you want. Yes, you do. Yeah, I always don't forget. I I do not forget about it. I I remember it. Okay, can you go finish playing now? I'm almost done, okay? Uh, and then we can finish talking. Go ahead, go finish watching your show. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, so we have some little varied color schemes here. This one is cute, too, but it's not one of my favorites. Enjoy the little things. Not the saying, but just I don't like all of the white background, so I might cover that up with something. Fill it in with some stickers or something it's a little plain for me keep flipping here Mommy, can i unplug the fan i don't want it on i don't want the fan on i want to unplug get so the thing on so we have love more worry worry less is the saying in this section so I can see what I like about this too, because I'm just realizing it doesn't have any dates. It just has days of the week. I don't know if you can see that. Just days of the week, no dates. So that would allow me to kind of like maneuver and do it however I need to do it, which I do like that. And in the dates, uh, what is it? The dates and holidays one that I have, this one I showed you, it has the numbers in it. So I can do that however I need to. And let me know, do you all, I've heard, which I had the um, the idea, and I didn't realize a lot of people did it, but if it's an outdated planner, to just cover up the wrong dates and make it the right dates, does that make sense? Because I see normally a lot of planners that are on clearance because they're outdated, and I always figure like, hmm, you just cover up the dates, nobody knows the difference, but... If I found a really nice one, I would probably do it. I have two planners. The one is like my main planner for like just scheduling and, and things. And then I have one that's, um, it's like a thankful, be thankful for type of thing. So you write something for every day that you're thankful for from that day. So I really like that. That was actually a gift in a gift exchange in a mommy, mommy support group I was in on Facebook. Love, love, love. Little bouquet. That's cute. Do any of you have this specific planner? If so, how do you do it? Like, do you use it more? Obviously, it's mem a memory keeper, so you stick to just scrapbook memory style, or do you incorporate other, like, schedule-type plans into it? I mean, I don't know. I'm sure there's different ways to do it. This one is very cute. Do what your soul... What? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> do what makes your soul shine. It's cute. Once again, the succulents. This is an Echeveria, I think. I actually have a succulent that looks just like this, but it's a different color. 
very cute. So yeah, I'm excited to get started on this. Like I said, I've definitely have it, had it for a very long time. Be silly, be honest, be kind. That's cute. And I have a lot of pictures. Um, another good thing, it doesn't have dates. Not that it would matter, I'll just cover them, but I have pictures. My son is four, and I have pictures um, from when he was born up until now. And I have a bunch printed, and I need to start getting them together. So this gives me a good way to do that. Wild and free. This one is cute, simple. So yeah, that'll give me a good way to set that up. I started a traditional baby book. I never wanted a baby book. I wanted to do a scrapbook book for each of my kids. So that's why I, you know, gathered, took so many pictures and got them printed out. They're not all printed now. I lost track. And then I have my daughter who is about to be 19 months. So um, I have to, you know, print all her pictures and stuff out too. But I want a scrapbook for each of them opposed to a traditional baby book. And nice sidebar, actually, I was in Marshalls today doing some uh, Ray Dunn hunting. I don't know if any of you are into that, but so I was in there looking for that. And in the section that has like the, the stationary office type supplies, they had a whole section of scrapbooks. I've never seen scrapbooks in there. Like normally I've always seen the scrapbooks in Marshall. I mean, sorry, in Michael's or in Joanne's and of course Hobby Lobby, but they had them in there and they were just so nice. They were like really big. They even had like a little section up there of like stickers and stuff. So I was in a bit of a rush, but I want to make a point to go back and look at that because that was very nice. This one says life is a journey. You can see the little print there. I don't know how, let me know how you like this lighting. Um, it's like a dreary day today, so I don't have much natural light, but I wanted to get to this because I want to start using it. It says, life is a journey, not a destination. Ralph Waldo Emerson. So that's cute, little pink cluster. Definitely the ones closer to the front are more of my favorite of those dividers. And this looks like just some little extra pages that say the best day, two slots for a picture, some space underneath to write something, and then a today in one word, and then it has a space right here where you can put the date. So it appears to be a big stack of those. So that's cool. I can insert those for something a little extra. And on the back side of it, it says, this is big, who, what we did, and where. So I like that too. I'm already imagining a picture that will go good on one of these. We took a road trip last year and it was fun. It was the first time we drove that far. We drove eight, eight hours. My husband is from New York, he's from the Bronx, so we drove there. And it was about an eight, eight and a half hour drive. The kids did pretty well, actually. We just had, you know, everything they could want in the back of the car. And, um, you know, keep them entertained. I sat in the back with them while he drove. It was a lot of fun. So anyway, we have a picture that we took before we left. And I wrote, like, you know, our first family road trip or whatever. So I think that would be really cute on one of these. So that's why I really wanted it, just stuff like that. Pictures that I, I took with in mind that I was going to, you know, create some sort of a scrapbook. So I'm very happy to have this and finally have it open. Goodness, I've had it so long. I'm excited to use it, though. This one says, birthday, who, where, favorite gift, you're how old, wearing, excited for. That's cool. Space for more pictures on the back here. I think I'm pretty much going to place the pictures wherever I want, though. I mean, I'm gonna, I like that they put squares. Like, this looks like a 5x7 square, so that's cool. This one's probably like a more of a 3x5. But I'm going to play with them and put them wherever I want, to be honest. So, whatever. Um, I do want to try a traditional scrapbook, too. But I want to start with this because I have it. So, that looks like that's pretty much it. These are all repeat pages. See if there's anything different in here. Yep. This one says vacation. Oh, this one is cute. Little suitcase. Yeah, suitcase. Mm -hmm. Got some florals and back here. And the word on your book says suitcase. It doesn't say suitcase. It says tripping. They're making a joke like, oh, we're going on a trip. And then lastly, 
flowers. Yep, some more flowers on this one. Yep. This one says happy day. Happy and spaces day. and stuff like that. So definitely overall I'm very happy with this. Yeah. You're happy. I'm going to be able to do. You're happy with it. I am. You were, when you was on the couch talking about it, I was carrying, I was walking with it, carrying to you, and you were happy with it when you just okay. saw it. All right, let me finish. 30 days of gratitude. So that's nice. See how many of those there are. It's just that one, but that's cool. Start each day with a grateful heart. Summer fun. Today will be great. There's more 30 days of gratitude. What I like too is each page, even though like this one and this one are the same. Where is it? Like this has more of a purple and then this has a green. So it still feels like it flows. Like everything is not exactly the same, but you get a theme, which I like. We have autumn memories, fall. Another 30 days of gratitude, but this one is completely different. I think this one is my favorite. That's really cute. Down to the end here. Merry Christmas. Of course, the major holidays on that. And then more gratitude shoots. Oh, excuse me. So that is the end you, of my flip through. Bless you, Thank you. That is the end of my flip through. Live creatively. That's really cute. I'm very happy with it. Look at that. Even the back is decorated. That's so cute. I'm very happy with this. I'm glad that I have it. Um, I'm going to be able to get a lot of stuff together that I've been wanting to, to do. And I'm happy about these stickers too. But I'm not going to be, I don't think I'll be specific to like only buy the Big Happy Planner or my, what is it, me and my big ideas, the brand specific stickers. I mean, if I find other ones I like, why not, right? So, there are some other things that I had eyed when I was in Michael's a couple weeks back in their actual scrapbooking section that I might add on to this. And eventually, I may get a scrapbook as well, a traditional one, just to see, but more to have. And then the little washi tape, that's really cute. But I think this is a good buy, nice all-in-one, um, everything except these sticker books. This all came together. These were additional. So it's still nice, a good starter kit for someone. It's, it would definitely make a nice gift. I really like it. And um, like I said, I got it for an awesome deal. I don't remember what they retail for. I think 36 or something like that. And I got it for 60% off. So it was a very good deal. I was happy about that. And also I noticed with the scrapbooks as well that they had a um, they had some markdowns on those. That were pretty drastic too, like 60 to 70 percent off. So that's the best time to get them, especially if you can use a coupon at Michael's. So thank you for joining me for my flip through. I'm gonna be back with more videos showing you how I, you know, build the book out, the different memories and stuff that I add just to share with you all, so you can see my family and I see our adventures. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.